Hey there, welcome. In this module, we'll be talking about the uh, UCS, the user coordinate system, and compare that to the WCS, the world coordinate system in AutoCAD. Um, an understanding of this is going to be fundamental uh, in, in being able to work in 3D models, um, and furthermore, um, being able to coordinate um, different buildings within a uh, site-wide project. Uh, pretty, pretty critical stuff here. So. Um, AutoCAD uses what is referred to as the 2D Cartesian coordinate system or three Cartesian coordinate system. Uh, most people are aware of this without being aware that they're aware of it. And um, so for example, uh, most people know that if I am drawing a line, I tell it to go over um, you know, 20 feet or something like that. Okay, my units are wrong on this drawing. Um, it's gonna go over 20 feet or, or most people know that they can put in angles and, and distances um, when they're um, drawing stuff. So um, this kind of expands upon all that. And so the example we're going to be talking t about today, um, we'll, we'll start with Revit. And so here I, I have a 3D model of a building. Um, my architect gave this to me. And when I go to the um, floor plan for this, um, you know, this is what it looks like. Now, uh, first question we should be asking ourselves when we go to export this is is this in a project north or true north re representation and to show you in revit when you're on the floor plan you can actually toggle this between project north and true north so i'll switch to true north there and so what this is telling us is that north is is directly up right now um it's directly to the north of the drawing where project north it is going to um, position the building um, orthogonally um, and it makes it much easier to draw stuff annotate things um, and that that's why there's this concept of Project North and True North um, in Revit. And um, typically when you're going to be getting architectural backgrounds from your, uh, your architect, they're always going to come in the Project North uh, orientation. That's it's all, almost always how they're going to come. Um, now we'll explain, like for example, what happens if they give it to us in the um, True North group representation. And we'll come back over here to CAD. And you can see here that I've, I've kind of set up a would-be site plan is here, and I've got some buildings that I've drawn in, in yellow here, and then my arrows indicate where north is. So if we get an export where everything's in the true north, um, we're gonna wanna get it into Project North most likely. Um, and uh, regardless, let's say that we get it, we, we get the drawing in true north, how do I actually represent, uh, uh, reposition my coordinate system uh, to, be orthogonal and the command used for that in AutoCAD is UCS stands for user coordinate system and right now in top top right you can see that we are in the world coordinate system this is the default and um, right now the user coordinate system and the world coordinate system are actually aligned uh, but right now we're going to actually redeclare the user coordinate system and so you can actually watch a lot of videos on the stuff this, this isn't meant to be a catch-all be-all but it's meant to expose you to the concept and so here typing UCS and it's, it's, it's asking us to specify an origin for it. So if I click at, at this corner right here, this um, has redeclared my zero, zero point there. It's then asking me to specify the um, X axis. So I wanted to position it relative to that. The Y axis is now asking me to do to that. And so um, you can now see in our, in our top right there, our view cube, we are no longer in the world coordinate system. We're now in an unnamed user coordinate system. I can actually name that if I would like. If I reorient, you can see that everything is not orthogonal to this. And um, I feel like this area should be, one of these arrows should be directly up. I've got my rotation wrong. Yeah, okay, I had the, the rotation of that arrow wrong to begin with. Um, we we'll, we'll won't dwell on that though. So I've just repositioned the user coordinate system and I can draw everything with my, my orthos on and um, go about my business that way. And so you noticed that where I um, rotated, or I guess I didn't rotate anything, but I, 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 it's important to know where um, I put the origin of the UCS. If we want to start rotating stuff, you should always rotate around the zero point. I've got some other videos on how to um, reposition models um, into new coordinate systems. So let's say you have a Revit model that was set up um, you know, over here and you've got some, uh, you know, you need to get um, MEP equipment that resides in this building here and you need to match it up to that. I've, I've got I've got videos on things that cover those workflows, but that, that is how they use the UCS commands. The most common use for it is um, typically going to be, oops, 
is typically going to be to move things in the up and down z-axis and so right now if I try to move this tank up and down I've, I've launched the move commands you can see with orthos on I am not able to move now if I take orthos off um, it would appear as though I am um, I would not suggest trying it um, so what we'll do instead is we'll again we'll launch the UCS commands and we will use um, we'll switch it to view so this time I'm not actually going to be specifying an origin and spec specify an X and a Y axis although I could um, uh, the easiest option here is to hit view and it will orient the Y and X axis relative to to this view so we're actually going to see to watch that top right view cube and we'll see it's actually about to read top here in a moment and um, now I can actually move this with orthos on and the up and down direction. Um, you do have the capability of naming this UCS. Um, let's see. And to do that, I do believe that we'll just hit. Um, I think you just launch the UCS command again, and then we can do named and then save and save it as um, side view here. All right. And yeah, perfect. And so now if I switch this back to my home view, put on world coordinate system, what we should see in a moment here is then when I switch back to side view, yeah, it is it's now repositioned that. So that's kind of a little overview of the uh, user coordinate system. Um, it, it's really for the two examples that I outlined here today. Um, it is important to always remember to know where your origin is in case you ever need to rotate anything. Um, you typically are going to want to rotate that around your zero zero point. Um, that's a whole nother tangent, but um, that's just a helpful tip if you get into rotations and you're dealing with coordinate systems. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, just let me know.